letter to Sheriff Aiken of Wise County, January 24th, 2018. Sheriff Aiken, my name is Adam Kokesh, and on January 16th, I announced that I am running for President of the United States as a Libertarian on the platform of the peaceful, orderly, responsible dissolution of the United States federal government. On that same day, I was falsely arrested in York County by Texas State Trooper Garcia, and that is why I am currently enjoying a government-induced, taxpayer-funded, spiritual retreat at your facility, the Wise County Jail. I would tell you more about the incident, the charges, the circumstances, and the full name of the arresting officer, but although I have been locked up for more than a week, and despite my repeated demands, I have yet to receive a single piece of paperwork by the government regarding the incident or my unjust imprisonment. As the county sheriff, you have the ability to set things right in this case. I intend to help you. I will make it as easy as possible for you to achieve justice, so long as you cooperate with me in good faith and honor your oath to the Constitution, similar to the one that I took when I enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. I swore to defend it against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I watched fellow Marines die in combat in Fallujah, Iraq, to allegedly defend the freedom of my fellow Americans. Needless to say, it was quite disheartening to return home to find that if the terrorists ever hated us for our freedom, they should love us by now. We found out the hard way that the greatest enemies of the Constitution are not to be found in the sands of some far-off land, but rather right here at home. I hope that your opposition to the Constitution is unintentional rather than deliberate, but now that the issue has been raised, we shall soon see if you are one of many domestic enemies of the Constitution, or if you will join me in standing up for freedom, justice, and American values. You have access to sufficient evidence to determine that my arrest was false and that Officer Garcia acted with deliberate malice and disregard for my rights. You can watch the videos that I broadcast live during the arrest until I was unlawfully ordered to stop filming. You can see that there were several violations of police procedure and my rights as described by the Fourth Amendment to the United States Constitution. I am writing to you to report several crimes. I have been falsely arrested and imprisoned. An innocent man sits in your jail, the victim of a dangerous criminal in uniform who still roams the streets to terrorize the good people of Wise County, who you have a duty to protect. If you don't think that terror is the effect of his presence, I challenge you to survey the residents of Wise County and ask them how they feel when a state trooper pulls up behind them. I would bet you everything that I own that you will hear more words like fear and anxiety than safe and secure. Do your duty, pursue this matter appropriately, and arrest Officer Garcia. I will not rest until I see him wearing the same striped uniform that I am wearing now. You are in possession of stolen goods, as nothing that was taken from me that day was taken lawfully. I demand that all of my property be returned to me immediately, including my dog, Blue, and my RV, No Force One. I demand that you make arrangements to compensate me for all damages done to my property, time lost due to false imprisonment, and all towing and impound fees. You can pass the bill directly to the arresting officer. Instruct the Wise County District Attorney to not oppose my writ of habeas corpus and the presiding judge to grant it, so that you can release me without restrictions or pending charges. Do the right thing. Regardless of how well you handle this, there will be a number of lawsuits stemming from this incident, and I intend to extract as much money as possible from the criminal arresting officer, Wise County, the great state of Texas, and all other individuals who can be held accountable, possibly even yourself, for the numerous civil rights violations that I have experienced in your facility, including having a female guard deliberately walk in on me while sitting on the toilet in my cell. I will not take a single penny from any lawsuits for myself or my political causes. It will all be returned to the people of White County with priority given to compensating your other victims. I have presented you with a very important choice that will affect you until your last day on earth regardless of what you decide. 
It is now up to you to show the world if you are a man of courage and conviction or cowardice and corruption. I invite you to meet me in my cell, M2 slash D32, or as I like to call it, the Kokesh Presidential Suite, at your earliest convenience to discuss these matters. I assume you will be consulting with attorneys before taking any action. I strongly suggest that you consult your conscience first. Sincerely, Adam Charles Kokesh, inmate number 95195. P.S. I would have sent this letter by certified mail, but that option is not currently available to me as I have been denied access to even any of the normally available resources necessary to mount a proper legal defense. Last night, I read this letter to my staff over the phone from my cell. By the time you read this, it will have already been publicly released as a blog, a podcast, and a video on numerous platforms to millions of people online an email to all local public officials and media in Wise County for whom my staff can find contact information. Cool, huh?